In today's demo, we will be showing the AI language personal identifiable information model integrated with Oracle Analytics. This model will obfuscate personal and confidential information while maintaining data integrity. The Pi model is available directly from OAC and is essential for expanding and enhancing your OAC language capabilities. In our brief demo, we have been supplied highly confidential data that discusses the status of many high-level projects. However, the address of each of these projects is included in our data set. We will use the Pi language model to obfuscate the data. To start, we're going to create a data flow. And we are going to select our input data set that we have been provided. Once added to the data flow, we can briefly take a look at all of the columns. So we have a topic, description, status one, status two. We'll be focusing on obfuscating the data within the description field. To do that, we'll click on the plus and apply AI model. One thing to note, in our demo, we have already pre-registered the PI identification model. The process for doing so is the same as any other AI language model within OAC. And we'll scroll down and we'll select the pre-trained PI identification model, click OK, and we can see the output. So the number of entities being masked, so this model will count the number of entities that are masked. It'll also provide a status summary if necessary. In terms of the parameters for the input columns, we simply just need to select the column that we choose to obfuscate. And in our case, it's the description column. We can provide any single character for masking and the number of characters left to be unmasked. So this can be any numeric value over zero. In our case, we will select the number five. So what this means is any data that is obfuscated, five numeric characters will remain in our data. Once all of our selections are completed, we will click on Apply AI Model, and we'll click on Save Data, and we'll provide a output name. And if we go back down to the bottom, we can see in our preview panel that our data is being obfuscated. So what we'll do now is we'll complete the data flow by running this. We'll click on Run. We'll provide a name and we'll click OK. And the data flow should be completed within a couple of minutes. Once the data flow is completed, we can return back out to the OAC homepage and we can begin uh, creating a workbook with our output data. For the purpose of our demo, we have a pre-built sample already created. Once in edit mode, we can see all of the entities that were created as a result of our AI data flow and as well as the parent output file. This particular uh, visualization is just a table view where we're using the description, which is the field we chose to obfuscate, as well as the number of entities mask. And we can scroll down and we can see different entries and the number of entities uh, that were masked. And in the case that where they are, we can see that these entries were clearly obfuscated. Off to the right is a standard tree map where we have used the number of entities masked by topic. And what this is displaying is in the darker shading are the number of the number of entities that were masked per topic. So we can see the darker shading indicates higher number. This was a brief demo of the AI language model in OAC. Thanks for watching.